thank you for watching. Today we'll tie a uh, really classic nymph and uh, I've chosen to uh, show you the one with, uh, with a bead which isn't the classic but uh, it's the pattern I fish the most. So I've put a uh, Daiichi 1190 barbless hook size 12 and I've put a uh, 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead on there in gold. So to start off this Prince Nymph will attach our tying thread. To the back. Trim off the waist. Ends to the back. Now in right before the bend will create a little bump with tying thread. Little notch, if you will, and then just put a half hitch on there. Secure it. Needle, little drop of varnish. Reinforce that little bump. And then we'll uh, take some goose biots. If you look closely, you'll see that actually the, the tip is a little bit concave. So we'll turn the vise, measure it, and then I'll make sure that the little point goes outwards. Two wraps is enough. You can check it. Make sure it's on the side. And I take the other one. And again, you can see the little tip going up. So again, I'll make sure my side is going outward again. Measure it so it's the same length. Two wraps, adjust it, check it, yep, looks good, I'll tie it down. Tie it down all the way, there we go. So now we have our tail, and we're going to use a little ribbing on the body, some copper wire. I'll tie in the wire underneath, tie that in, and then I'll use three peacock curls. And the tips are quite brittle, so I'll snip about half an inch off the tip. Tie it in underneath. Fence to the back, all the way, tie it down, come forward again. Get all of them, give it a couple of turns. And with each turn I'll make, I'll twist them a little bit more. All the way to the front. There we are. Tie that off. Trim away the earl. And I'll take my copper wire. You could uh, rip it counterclockwise. I say it makes it stronger, but I don't know. I'll just do it in the same direction, it works fine. So five turns, tie that off.
you wiggle it a little bit, it will break off. So there's no need to ruin your nice scissors. So the next thing to do is tie in again some biots. As you can see, they come on a little string like this. And I like to take two more from the bottom part because they all have a uh, slight, slightly less tapered than uh, on the top. So I'll take those, measure them. It's about the length of the body. Again, two turns. You can move it around a little bit if you like. Take the other one, measure it so it's the same length. Two turns. As you can see, those uh, at the front, they, they're right on the top of the fly. A little bit on the side, a little bit on the top. Check it. I just want this to be a little bit more on the side. Yep, that looks good. Now you can tie it down. Trim away the excess. This is where you'll see a good pair of scissors. Oh, really nice. Now, what you can do is just uh, put a lot of tying thread on here, create a collar, and be done with it. And the fly will fish perfectly. Or you can try and do it the fancy way. I'll just show it to you. And, uh, I'm going to put a little throat. And in this case, I'll use a fairy brown end cape feather for that. Strip those off. Go to the bottom and make sure they are about the same length so they'll reach the point of the hook. Again, two loose wraps. And now using your, your thumb, you can uh, spread them out a little bit. Trim away the excess. There we go. Now with tying thread, I'll create a collar and clean up. my vise to check from all angles. It looks the way I want it to look. There we go. Nice little collar. Take your whip finisher. Finish your fly. Turn away your tying thread and again for durability I'll use a little bit of uh, lacquer which is water based no nasty smells just go around the uh, tire fly And here we are, the finished Prince Nymph. It's a true classic and uh, I really like to fish it. it. Caught a lot of fish for me over the years, so I have a lot of confidence in this fly. All right guys, thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Check us out next time.